Hello everybody, Jet here and welcome back to my Battletech playthrough. Warning, today there will be spoilers guys. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fix something I've been uh, doing wrong because um, apparently... Oh no, I don't get stuck on the self screen. Okay, apparently I've been selling a lot of stuff by mistake over the last few things. So I'm, I'm really trying not to do that now guys. Um, unfortunately nothing great here. Um, Anyway, I believe we've already got my repairs going, so we're going to jump straight into the next mission, guys. Um, let's just have a quick check of all our mechs. They are all still set up correctly, yeah. And, right, so let's go to my contract. Okay, so extraction. Travel to Guldra to rescue Lord Alexander Madeira and recover his family's insurance policy against House Espinosa. Let's travel straight into that. That looked quite a hard mission. Hopefully this will be a bit more tricky than the last few, because we've had a couple of really easy issue missions recently. Um, let's just have a check of our star map here. Um, so we're not gained anywhere. We've not lost anything, to be fair. Um, you know, we've actually managed to hold everywhere we've been going so far. Um, so I don't think we're losing quite as bad... Well. Obviously, storyline-wise, we're getting, we're, we're losing, we're trying, struggling to hold on to what we've got, but map-wise, it doesn't know having many problems. Okay, let's uh, get something else on the way from here. My ship's getting fairly done, actually. Um, 2.7 million, but it does. I want that, though, though. I'll get the crew moving. Reduction in chances of dying is huge. Um, that's the top end of that, I think. I think soon we're going to have a... You know, we're getting to the point where we're going to have eventually a fully set up ship. Which would be quite, quite cool. Um, they're getting quite expensive, though. So let's keep going. We're hitting the jump ship now. But no, my Argo looks so much more repaired. I mean, I don't know if it's going to change structurally on the outside anymore, but uh, structurally it's complete, so it might not change on the outside at all. But, uh, you know, obviously we've got a few things left to do on it, which are expensive, but they're all just making us that much more efficient, guys. I mean, that ship on its own is probably worth more than all the mechs on it. Oh, we've got things. We've got this rumble seat issue again, and... Rebalance so we can uh, spend 100k. Argo structure refills finally recalibrate the rotation controllers. Increases morale by one, but we lose 100k. So we're not going to get that pop up again. Obviously, upping our morale is always good. We're doing so well, actually, from all of these. Uh, these little extras we're doing with their, their, um, you know, these extra bits are getting us so much more options on these missions and things. Okay, so we're in Goldra, we're in the Argurian, sorry, the Oregon Directorate territory here, uh, going to rescue Madeira. We've arrived at Greer, Commander. Are you ready to proceed? Okay, let's proceed. Dead drop. And we're going to have a cameo with us on this one, I believe. We're picking up a transmission on the Restoration Distress Frequency Commander. The timestamp is marked a couple of hours ago from Lord Madeira. Cameo, by the time you receive this message, I have been captured. I've got, the ho I've got hostiles closing in all around me as I'm recording this. I don't know how much time I have left. Listen, the evidence is hidden in a dead drop. It was the best I could do given the circumstances. My grandfather's monument, you remember, the place where we laid him to rest, in the mountains. The directorate paved it over and built a structure right over the top of it. Look there, you'll find what you need. I can hear the sounds of splintering hardwood. They're coming through the door, and I'm out of time. I pray that I will see you again, but if I don't, I need you to win this war. Do whatever you have to do, just finish it. Not for me, but for your people. 
Goodbye. Oh! The bastards took him. But he left us the evidence. They have Alexander Darius, and we're going after him. Now! I've got Lord Madeira's subdermal transponder signal on my screen. They're moving him, probably in an APC. If we launch Netmex now, we might catch him. Let's go! Probably the wrong action. It's completely and utterly a trap, but, uh, yeah. So, she's joining us on this one. But, she's in a hundred ton Atlas now, guys. So, I'm, I'm a bit happier with that. So, we've got a really solid lance here, guys. Uh, Glitch is going to go in that Highlander. Jet's back. Um, oh, I could do with a scanner. Hmm... I wish I'd done Jet differently. It's a bit late to worry about that now, but I wish I'd uh, given Jet uh, the defensive dig-in uh, one rather than the other things, but... Hmm... I wish I could look what this had a bit more. Um, we're going to do this. So we've got a really, really solid lance here, guys. We've got three assault mechs and one heavy, but one heavy mech, which is on the top end of heavy mechs. It's all but an assault mech, guys. So uh, we've got a really, really sturdy setup here. Obviously, Jet is a lot slower, but he's my ranged. He's my LRM boat, guys. Um, I would love to swap that out for something else. Um, it's always worth having an LRM boat, however. Um, but I'd love to swap him out, that King Crab out, for something a bit faster. Attempt to rescue Lord Oaks. The director has captured uh, Lord Madeira, and we're going to get him back. We have his transponder coordinates, and we know that he's on the move. And we're going to make planet fall, rescue Alexander, recover the evidence. He risked his life to bring us, and we'll... And we will bring ruin to anyone who stands in our way. Sounds like a plan. How are we looking, Darius? You're approaching the convoy. Alexander's location, located signal puts him on an APC in the middle of a group. It's surrounded by a pack of armed escorts. I can't see what that is. How close are they to that refueling depot? Close. From the director's transmissions that sh transmissions they, we've intercepted, I can tell you that there, there's a small gr group of attack vehicles waiting at the depot. The good news is that their communications are down and they're prepping to depart for a local repair yard. If you can engage the convoy outside of the attack vehicle's sensor range, they should depart on their own. Like I said, they're on schedule. But if they catch sight of you before they leave, you'll have to contend with them too. Hmm. So... We want to start charging this way. Location confirmed. Don't need to tell me twice. Moving to position. What we want to do is engage these guys before they get to that repair depot then. So this isn't, isn't a time for subtlety. I assume they're about to move? Yeah. And this is where having somebody who can scan would have been useful. If we have to engage them all together, we have to engage them all together. I'll make it happen. Got it. Confirming new bogey. Okay, I don't know if this is going to pull them into me now. We've we've managed to see to see actually see them or have them on our scanners. They might turn to face me, which would be good. 
However, that convoy might just keep moving. For the Oregon people. New bogey on the field. That's fast. Okay, he's coming up for me. Standing by. Commander. On the move. So we have to ensure that APC survives. And we have to destroy the rest of the escort vehicles. I'm going to sensor lock so hopefully somebody else, I don't know what Cami has got, so... Kill that APC first. Just need to wipe these guys out as quickly as possible then. Oh, it looks like we've uh, grabbed the other guys as well. Damn. Oh well, never mind. Oh wow, 60 ton things. So we didn't get here quick enough. Acknowledge, I'm moving. Taking the shot. Come on, a breaching shot as well, not that it's dug in. Wow. You'd have to be in quite fast mechs to get here fast enough, I think. Waiting for orders. Uh huh. Just getting ourselves a little bit close to that ridge line. Special delivery. And again, another breaching shot. Not that it matters. Ah, I was hoping we'd manage to get get lucky. Oh my! I've got a feeling my Orion is going to take a bit of a battering here. We're dug in though, so taking minimal damage. God, he's just going to keep running, isn't he? Wow. Awaiting orders. Affirmative. Let's get up here and start taking out escorts. Finish off that striker. Maybe a bit of overkill. I've still technically got to only kill three of those escorts, so if we can kill them Enemy first. Now oh, he is dug in. She is dug in, so that's good. Hit that Griffin. Oh, I'm not good enough. I'm not having much luck here. So we may as well have been mo much more careful here, but never mind. Standing by. Waiting on you, Commander. So I don't think he's moving anymore. So I can also pull my Orion back a little bit if needs be. Here we go. Oh, 
What does Kamiya actually have? I mean, I know she's got a hundred ton atlas, but I don't know what 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 loadout she's got. Oh wow! So yeah, she's got a very nice loadout. Oh, and she could have scanned as well, but I don't think it's particularly fast. This atlas. I'll do what you ask. Okay, my Orion should be able to blat him next turn. Got a lock I'm just not so keen on my Orion being so far forwards, but... He's a heavy mech, he can take it. make the most of the damage we've done try and rip that arm off I've and hopefully we'll blow through. The must fall. That'll do very fall. nicely. Spam that striker. It should kill it. Oh, wow! What's going on with my attacks today? That amount of LRM spam used to kill, happily kill things. I think, have we taken this PPC off or is that the other arm? Is he coming and meleeing me? Okay. He just killed him, made sure he's dead. So yeah, I'd have had to be very quick to get him before they uh, got involved. I'm listening. Do. I'm hoping I'll kill him. I mean, we've crippled him, that's for sure. Did my LRMs... I'm, I thought I had the LRMs targeted to the other guy. Never mind. My Ryan is still okay, but I'm go. probably going to want to stop pulling him right so far forwards. Ready, That's perfect set. range. It's not, but I'd be better at a bit, bit longer range, but it'll do. My Gauss should be enough to take him out on his own. On its own if I hit. Because that Gauss cannon is insane. There we go. And stay down. That's it. The last of the escorts. Down the APC is ours. Alexander, can you hear me? What the hell just happened there? Alexander! I'm not sure what happened. Don't worry about your precious pet cousin. I have him right here with me. Safe. All safe and sound. You on the other hand. Are anything but safe. You should have killed me when you had the chance. New sensor Unsurprisingly guys. Units on your it was a trap. Damn you Victoria. Taking hostages is a coward's move. If you wanted to fight me, you should have come yourself. 
Ooh. When I send you to hell, be sure to tell Lord Carosas that. So, full ambush here, guys. We are being swarmed from all angles. Um... Standing by. We're going to pull back over this ridge. Make them come to us. As much as I can. I'd like to take out those turret generators, but... Let's reserve. My Highland is still hidden up there, so I can always move him to the edge and rip a few things apart, but... It's a risky move if those turret depending on how powerful those turrets are. Reading loud and clear. You have my attention. That'll do. Jet can move up and fire a few more missiles. Engaging target. Come on, I know it's dug in, but wow, we are doing so badly damage wise. Have they Central nerfed line. LRMs or something? Waiting on you, Commander. But now is when breaching shot works for us. Okay, I need to take those turrets out or they are going to just slowly batter my Orion to death. So uh, my Highlander's going to move up onto this and start gaussing them down. The director must have learned about more... Lord Madeira's subdermal transponder and cloned the signal. Keep fighting down there. Samira working on a fix, working to get a fix on the actual location. Work quickly, Dr. Mirad. This could be our only chance of finding not him. Bad, cousin, but I am not finished with you yet. I'm not worried by those light mechs. I'm more worried by the heavy tanks down here, to be order. fair. Let's have some fun. I just want him dead. We'll get the uh, leadership back, the morale back for killing him. Not the best odds because he's got so much that's a fire starter, so I would take him down before he gets too close. Yeah, we did reasonably. Standing by. Coordinates received. I can't hit that right. Uh, wow, that needs to die. Ooh. 
we're going to be jumping down to get closer to those guys next turn, and hopefully I can actually go for the generators, but it's going to put me in a very dangerous position. Oh, oh come on! Reading loud and clear. I'm on it. Right, Cammy's gonna move up. She's got reasonable lane range as well, so she's gonna move up to help out with these things in a minute. Target Let's kill that fire starter. Oh, completely miss it. Hopefully, they're gonna focus Jet a bit here, because Jet can take it. Sorry, Glitch can take this a bit more. A bit more. Ooh. Oh god, I do not want to take too much damage on Glitch, however, because all those lovely, lovely parts. Oh, there's another mech down that way. Right, we're going to be jumping down here and trying to take those generators out in one turn. Oh, this could be very bad, guys. Dang it, that hurt! Oh god. Damage minor. Ooh. Enough of these games, Kamea. Do you want to win little Alex back? Come and find me. We'll be waiting for you. Won't we, Lord Madeira? I'm sorry, Kamea. I evaded capture for as long as I could. <laughs> that sound you just heard? was his jaw, Kamea. It was every bit as fragile as I thought it would be. Consider Come on. From our first reunion. I'm coming for you, Victoria. Do you Thank hear you. me? Communication terminated. Armor's holding. Just. What's going to be our best shot? That is far more of a threat, so... Yes, I hear you. Confirm. Mm, I think I'm just going to have to pull Glitch back a bit. I don't want Glitch is taking too much damage, so I'm going to just get her a bit back. So, while she can afford, she can take some fire. I don't want to risk her if I don't have to. Discharging weapon. Oh wow, overkill! That said, I could still jump down, I could brace. If I could take those turrets out, it'd be worth it, but it's a big risk. Oh god, no. Yeah, no, she's being pulled back because I don't want to be losing too much. I, I don't want to be losing parts on that Highlander. I can win this without risking glitch. Back up and ready for more. Affirmative. I'm going to jump back. So that was not worth the risk of pushing up onto that ridge, guys. Come on. 
Oh wow, it survived a Gauss hit. Annoyingly, because that means I'm going to get targeted again. They've got a lock on me. Oh, they can hit Camia a bit. She's got... She can afford to take some damage. She's probably my heaviest mech here, actually. Armor holding. They've got a sensor lock on me. Oh, God. It's where I had somebody who was a bit of a better sniper. Because they're just sensor locking us over the range. Which is going to mean we are going to have to push in at some point. Yeah, we need to keep pushing here, annoyingly. They're stripping armor off of my mech. I've taken... I've got a fix on Lord Madeira's transponder. Signal. He's being moved. It looks like they're taking him to a heavily reinforced director of Stronghold on Goldara. Miss Mayor, I need to pick us up and carry us to Alexander's APC. It's the only way we can reach him before it's too late. That's a negative, Lady Arno. I'm reading dozens of anti-aircraft guns and missile turrets around that stronghold. If I try to fly you in, they'll blow me out of the sky. Damn it, what are your options? If you have to take off at a... If, I, if you take off at a dead sprint, you might be able to catch them. But it's pretty dicey. Though I'm seeing a lot of mechs between you and Lord Madeira. We'll have no time to retrieve the evidence he gathered. The evidence can wait. We have to. Damn it. The intel is vital to our war effort and it's nearly in our grasp. I cannot risk the future of the Reach the One Man, Mr. Oliveira. I need you to give me the coordinates of Lord Madeira's dread dead drop. Forgive me, Alexander. But your rescue will have to wait. Roger that, Lady Arno. I'm marking the coordinates on your map now. Every fibre of my being is screaming at me to not abandon Lord Madeira. To drop everything and rescue him, as I know he'd rescue me. In leaving him, I betray myself. It's the right call. And it's what he wanted you to do. For your people. <sighs> Alexander. He'll live. Have faith in Move her down. I guess we're gonna get another thing to save Madeira later, or they will kill, or he will get killed. You know, one or the other. Uh, I'm gonna phrase it: the other guys don't seem like the sort of guys who um, are likely to let people die easily. So. Uh, You're going to get sniped now. Now my sniper is finally in position. All weapons committed. I should have uh, used a cold shot. No, I shouldn't. Enemy mech destroyed. Hmm. We are going to take a turn. Got it. Weak. I need the heat back. We need to take out those damn turrets, guys. They've got a sensor lock on me. Here it comes. Tempted to pull back around here. That's the way I should have gone to start with, and I know that now. If I were to redo this mission, I would not come this way. Damn this it. felt like the right thing, and it was a really nicely set up ambush. Aye, aye.
taking Come on, up. finish it. Well, kill it in general. Yee, that was not a good idea. It's frying my internal. What? How did... Uh, if she actually overheated, I'm going to be annoyed. Oh wow, this is this is not fun guys. This I'm is taking heavy tough. Hits, Commander. Kill it, come on. Oh wow, close though. Oh, by close, I mean dead. Oh, glitch is taking a pounding. Internal damage. It's a risky move, but... Oh, no, it's not. No, my Atlas, the Atlas is fine. Nice. Another enemy casualty. So there's two more tanks I need to take out. Commander? We're just going to brace here. gonna hurt those damn turrets as I said I wish I'd gone that way so I'd been closer to them to take out those damn turret they've got a sensor lock on me those damn turret generators but you live and learn this was a beautifully set up ambush actually I'm really impressed by them making this mission by them with this mission I'm because they've done it damage. very nicely actually oh god and we've still got to fight on after beating this ambush, guys. Oh, this could this could hurt. Yeah. Internal structure damage. That needs to die. I really should have used my targeted shots. Oh god, my Orion. My poor Orion. I'm sorry, Glitch. Oh my god, Glitch. You are... They're blowing through my armor. Tell me what you need. She does not have brace, so we may as well be moving her. I should have kept her in the trees, though. Two of those. I'll do what you ask. Oh, we killed it. Bit of overkills. Never, never hurts. Well, it does because it means the other guys can get shots off. But I should have got glitch up first. Balls. Note to self: get the dead mech which is down, up, and out of combat before he gets killed by them the next turn round. Oh my God, glitch! You are sorry, thief. It's Thief in the Orion, sorry. Thief is Wait by far the flukiest person in existence just now. A 
Kill it. Uh. My mech is overheating. What? No, you're not. Commander? That arm is quite low. I don't know what I've got. Oh my god, is that one with the... It's just got an SRM. Does it have any... Doesn't have a heat sink. So actually losing that arm is not the end of the world. Oh, thank God. Now we need to deal with those turrets, guys. That's actually going to be... That's going to be a pain in the butt. I need to... I'm trying to work out the best thing is for me to just charge. Potentially the best thing for me to do is just to push forward and get those, um... And get those, um... I just took a heavy hit. Words are failing me. Yeesh. Uh, get those turret, turret generators out. Yes, Commander. I'm a little worried Cammy is about to get knocked over. No, that's perfect. Standing by. Good to go. Here we go. I know I'm risking it a bit here, but. How is Thief still alive? I mean, this mech is in. I'm not expecting this mech to make it. I'm not expecting Thief's mech to make it through. I'm half expecting Thief not to make it through, guys. Because we're still going to push up here afterwards to that to that place. Standing by. We're all dug in at the moment, and we've got nice charges, so. Reading you loud and clear. Come on! Get me to be able to see all of them, please. Come on. Target destroyed. That was easier than shooting the turret. I mean, much easier than shooting the turret. This may not have been worth it. No, we're still good. Back up through my armor, oh, wow. You have my attention. Aye, aye. I'm listening. Thief. Tell me what you need. The other guys can hit it, thief. You can't. Uh, she can't get in range of both, so we're yes, not going to do that. We're going to vigilance, and then we're going to sprint forwards to get visibility on those other two, and hopefully Jet and Thief will be able to take them down. I hope you're in a good sniping mood, Jet. Come on! It's where I'm not going to kill either, isn't it? Of course. Nope, that one's down. Come on, be enough. Be enough. Oh, thank God.
<sighs> Let's take a turn cooling down. to cool down. Wait, awaiting stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Wow. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Resting my neck. That'll keep my heat down. Right, Commander. I'm half tempted just to leave Thief right back, but I need Thief involved. Right. And we can't get over there, can we? Wow, I could theoretically go right around this way, but uh. Jet's going to move up the other flank, keep his range. Reading you loud and clear. I'm moving out. So what we're going to try and do is move up to, along here and to keep the cover as best we can while Jet's going to move up this side. I hope there's not too much more. I was hoping for one or two, you know, really heavy mechs on this mission. Not this. Commander? Commander? You have my attention. I'll make it happen. That said, we could still have one or two really heavy mechs. That's the on scary that thing. Pushing up through this wood line, this this tree line, if we can push up this hill, will actually work really well for my setup. Waiting for orders. Standing by. I'll do what you ask. I suspect we're gonna be in, be getting targets shortly. Maybe not. Interesting. Moving to position. Confirmed. Because these guys are all close to medium. Kami is probably my well, and Jet are obviously my long range. Why am I expecting another ambush, guys? Copy that. I am so about to be ambushed again. And we're going to set up everybody on the edge of this. Dug right in, and then Kami is going to go in on her own. Oh no, no, we need to get all my units in here. Uh, I'm on it. Moving to position. I don't like this. I'm not expecting this to be. We're receiving the data now, Lady Arno. Commander, I'm going to have to ask you to stay near that until the upload is finished. Keep it protected. You know the drill. Just a heads up, you've got enemy reinforcements on the way. So, a trap. Oh, wow. We have to fight for five rounds. Sixty-five, so that's heavy. You know what I said about coming over this hill being really good? God damn.
On in the forcer. Waiting for orders. Bitch is going to jump to get some evasion charges, and then we are going to ping him. Oh, I, damn, I didn't, I, I used all my morale, I was hoping I'd be able to core him out. See, that'll, that'll do nicely. Yes, Commander. All weapons. Come on, good hits. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Not quite dead, but that'll do nicely. Thief might be able to finish him off. It's long range for Thief, but... We'll go. Come on. Yes! That's a kill. That'll do. The Directorate must fall. These little guys are going to push up. They're light mech, so actually I want them in close. So, um, glitch can rip them to pieces. New bogey. <sighs> Well, this is going to get fun. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. This would have actually been easier. They, they do know how to make it hard, because this would have been easier with lots and lots of very... Of, of, with a few heavy no. enemy mechs. Easy on the armor, buddy. Where spamming me like this is actually far harder to deal with. That hunchback needs to die. Oh, it's the other hunchback setup, thankfully. Ooh, we might, if, my, if they're close enough, my Atlas is going to go get into melee there. Ugh. I need to, okay. Cammy's getting oh, low, okay. but I need to keep risking her to yes, win this. Better. No, I'm not going to use a precision shot, but we're going to try and take him, try and take him out and down. Oh wow, we've gone through a lot of missiles here, guys. Probably not going to core it out, but it's worth the rest. Wow, we did it, which will get us enough extra morale again. Tango down. Yes, I hear you. Hmm. Moving Camia back into the way. trees for the extra cover. For the damage reduction, basically. I'm locked in on the target. Come on. Oh, well, he's down, so we should be able to finish him off. Good to 
I'm going to try and core him. We should be able to. Yep. I do, I do like that one. Oh, I've just got heavy metal for killing 50 heavy me mechs, guys. Um, that is what I like about my Highlander. Um, however, he's in, she is in a dangerous position there. I am a bit worried about Kamiya's damage here, but she needs to stay involved. I said damage. Jet has taken no doubt. Oh my god, Jet is not hurt. What is going on? Jet like gets injured every single. Oh god, that's that's arm bad. Because I will lose a lot if that arm gets knocked off. I just took a critical hit. Oh, this is not getting good. This is getting bad. Don't shoot at the Highlander. I'm happy for them to shoot at Kamiya a bit. I shouldn't be, but I prefer them shooting. So long as Kamiya doesn't die. Commander. Roger that. Come on, good hit. Do nicely. We are about to have no missiles left. Which means Jet is about to go into his secondary role as a sniper. Long-range missiles depleted. Now I can finish him off easily now. The real question is, is that what I want to do? Wish me luck. I really don't want to lose that shoulder on my Highlander, and I'm really worried I'm going to lose her. You have my attention. Come on, Kamiya, knock him out. I forgot about him. Oh no, that's actually better being behind to an extent because I'm not damaged behind. I still have reasonable armor behind. Oh, but she did just lose a double heat sink, which is going to mean she's going to be a much, much worse off here. That's fine, that's fine. This isn't going to be fine. That's fine. It's not, I'm but... taking heavy damage. Yes, Commander. Oh, hang on. All my guys still meant to have been in here. Oh, that is infuriating. Targeting rear armor. I got him on the first shot, to be fair. So I've messed up because I should have had everybody in here. Oh, God, please tell me I'm not going to get even more coming at us because of that. No, we're not going to waste our cold shot there. Because we know who can one-shot that. Squad 
scored a critical hit. I suspect as soon as I kill these guys, I'm gonna get another glowed coming, which means I've Standing completely by. messed this mission up. I'm gonna try and call him. We're gonna overheat up choose to overheat ourselves here guys and hope I don't blow myself up. Actually. That'll do. Come on. Oh damn. Glitch is using the tactic commonly known as hiding. Firing everything I've got. Oh wow, it's still alive. That's actually a little worrying, because he might kill Kamiya. He's hopefully gonna be dead before he gets a chance to try. Sniping as well. Enemy mech destroyed. Awaiting orders. Tell me what you need. Engaging. I'm gonna call target. this guy out. Wow. We've used a lot of missions this game. Oh wow! A Jenna survived. I mean, it is dug in, but still. You have my attention. It's actually fairly impressive. We've now actually finally got everybody in here. Thief's going to have that final shot. Commander. Firing on target. See, Thief's going to give me an I've overheated warning here, Follow even though she's not. Victory. Hostile removed. Please don't sell more. Damn send it. more. Damn it. Okay. Now smart. Cool. we've killed everything. Roger that. Affirmative. Keeping my heat low. Copy that. Okay, we did that wrong, but it worked because I wasn't paying attention. But we killed everything, so we'll have got more salvage. What is this, cousin? You're running, leaving Lord Madeira behind. I thought that you would do anything for each other. I will take him back from you, Victoria, personally. I look forward to it, Camia. In the interim, know that your dearest friend will languish as I languished in Lord Carassus's dungeons. I will make him suffer in your stead. I know what I'm abandoning him to, Victoria, as does he. Alexander is m more courageous than either of us, and if you hurt him, I will kill you myself. I swear it on my father's name. Mission. Okay! So we've lost Madeira, but we've got the intel, which, to be fair, is more important. But still, we're, we're going to have to get him back at some point, I'm assuming. Um, nice, free mill. Um, to be fair, considering how much damage we've taken, we've actually... Actually, I've done badly. Good God, Thief was on fire there. Um, Camia did the least. 
Um, but no, we've actually done quite well there, guys. We've taken a lot of damage, but we've not actually lost any parts, which is a re is a good. I hope we've not lost any parts. We'll see when I come to repairs. I don't think I've lost any. Um, anything worth us picking up? Well, first of all, let's look if there's anything worth getting from down here. Not so fussed by the range find. Uh, normal heat sinks. We'll grab that SRM6 plus. Plus. Though we've already got a few of those. Ooh. Wow. That makes that better than the SRM6 plus by a long shot. Um. Just say that it's twelve times four. Which is forty eight damage, whereas that's ten times six, that's sixty damage. But that's the heat's probably better. We'll grab both because I don't really need any of these bits of mechs. We'll grab ourselves another Thunderbolt, which is probably just gonna get sold because we've already got a spare one. Then we'll keep it in as a backup mech. Um, oh, I missed that medium laser. Okay. I, I'm going to be honest, I thought I was going to lose people there. I thought that was going to go much worse. That first ambush was vicious because it, it, they drew me over that hill and then sprung it, which is perfect for them. Dr. Murad, have you gotten that archive cracked open? I want to know what's inside, and I want to know it now. Yes, Lady Arno, I just finished cracking the encryption. There's a lot here, ledgers, spreadsheets, cost analysis, and a single hollow, single hollow file. I recognise the coding on that file. My father authorised his archivists in House Madeira to install a hollow recording system in Arno Palace before his death. It was meant to preserve an ongoing record of important diplomatic events. The system must be still, still active, and Alex, uh, Alexander's fa family must have, ac have had ac Alexander's family had access to it. Go ahead and put it on the view screen, Doctor. Let's see what, Lord, what we lost Lord Madeira for. Roger that, Commander. Here goes. I understand your hesitancy, daughter. It's a difficult thing what I'm asking you to do, but the galaxy is a hard and uncaring place. If our directors are deprived, we must be even harder. I have no calms about killing for the greater glory for director, director at father, but this? Please, help me understand. Show me the wisdom in carrying out this attack, because I cannot see it myself. Broaden your perspective, Victoria. Think beyond the reach, beyond the periphery. Our directorate is growing stronger, but we stand among giants. To the successor states, we are nothing. A tin pot dictatorship in a galactic black backwater. To be ignored or crushed as we please. If we are to survive in the long term, we need a strong ally. But we have nothing to offer them in return. The successor states are the really big central powers. Whereas these guys are all on the edge. Little states on the edge, guys. We cannot change our circumstances. The reach is comparatively small and poor. And that is how it will remain. 
but we can what we can do is shift the political balance of periphery by engineering conflict we can give ourselves value as a buffer state and an ally of convenience and by doing this to perdition you will create the conflict you seek yes your target is a port city that serves as the primary supplier of perdition's aerospace bases a chemical strike there will look like a backdoor attempt to undermine Calderon's military readiness. He'll assume that the method of attack was chosen for, for the purpose of plausible deniability. And when he points his finger at House Davion, in, in response, I will quietly approach him with an offer of support. And if, and if this embroils us in a war with the Federated Sons, it won't. Calderon will not strike without proof, and despite his fears to the contrary, the periphery is beneath House Davion's notice. We'll be the Concordat's silent partners in a cold war that never goes hot, and the Reach will go stronger than it ever could on its own. And if our attack fails, if I'm caught, then our directress will perish, and us alongside it. But inaction isn't an option, Victoria. An alliance built on a lie is better than no alliance at all, and our directorate cannot survive indefinitely in a vacuum. I cannot trust this task. I, sorry, I cannot trust a task as sensitive to any mercenary. It has to be somebody who truly loves the reach, who understands the price of failure. I don't enjoy ordering you to do this, but I am trying to accomplish in five year, years what House Arno should have done in the span of three lifetimes to safeguard the reach on such a short timetable. Risks must be taken, and sacrifices have to be made. Show me that you are, are the defender of the realm that I know you to be, and accept this terrible responsibility. Not for me, but for our people, for the Reach. I understand, Father. I'll do what you ask, for the glory of the Reach. So, uh, they engineered the, uh, the terrorist attack. Gods, it doesn't matter what else is on the archive. With this, we could turn the Torians against the Directorate. Protect Caldera will want, want Espinosa's head on a plate. You're damn right they will, and I intend to sit back and watch the show. I'll be watching it with you. There's a certain poetry in the idea of handing my uncle and my cousin to the protector to protect a cauldron. I'm marking the evidence with my personal seal and sending it to the Torian government. When they respond, we'll find out whether this was worth it. But in the meanwhile, in the meantime, we need to focus on getting Madeira back. He'll be on the throne world. Wouldn't make sense for them to take him any place else. Agreed. But if we move on Commodore directly, the director's naval fleet will attack our flank from their base on Tyrion. Tyrion. If, on the other hand, we attack and liberate House Sparta, there will be nothing my uncle can do to prevent us from invading Commodore. We'll have him by the throat. I'll take my leave of you now, now, Jet. I have allies to rally and an army to marshal. The restoration will summon you when our forces have been assembled for the assault. We'll keep doing our thing until we receive your summons. Back to work, people. If we're going to stage an assault on Tyrlon, we're going to need it all the firepower we can muster and you know what that means so let's get to it uh, hey guys so we are going to be leaving this one here thank you very much for watching guys i do hope that you enjoyed that that was a hard mission guys that was that was really fun that was really tense there um i'm amazed i came through it so well not unscratched but so well as well as i did guys um because that was a beautifully executed ambush because they drew us over those hills um, in the rush to get to them before they got to that thing. Then they triggered that. Then everything dropped on us at once and we were pinging things. I want to know if I was fast enough if I could have avoided that outpost hitting us. But we'd have still had to go past it. So, yeah, that was, that was vicious. Anyway, 
As always, please feel free to chuck any comments down in the comments, guys. Uh, you can also more than welcome to jump onto my Discord and say hi there. There are links to that in the comments and the description, as well as um, links to my Patreon and to my Twitter. Thank you very much for your time, guys, and thank you for watching.